Hey guys, I'm Den. I'm Mug. We're Den and Mug Makes. And today we're getting pissed. We're not. We're actually just going to make an awesome lamp out of an empty alcohol bottle. Yeah. So we've got these scrap pieces of plywood. We have an empty JD bottle. And we've got a nice little LED light. We're going to combine all these things together and make an awesome lamp. Mm -hmm. First things first, scrap plywood. So we just need three of these to create the height for our base. I think that's quite quite a nice height. That's quite nice. Quite a nice height. Quite nice, nice. We just need to tidy them up a bit, give them a little clean, a little sand. <coughs> I can taste that as well. Yeah. Glue roll. <coughs> so much dust. You don the gloves. I'll shake the bottle. Okay. Okay. How much glue do we go? I don't know. What in the F is that? Oh, that ain't on, mate. That's a piece of wood. No way, I'm on, dear, 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 dear. Clamps. <laughs> Let's not be idiots about this. Let's just do it like that. That'd be well easier. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give that a little bit of time. Let it dry. And come back to it. Yeah, all right. Yeah. One hour later. We're getting better with clamps. Yeah, I'm not hurting myself half as much anymore. Uh, we're going to be making a hexagon. Yep. Because we have a JD Honey, Honey, Honeycomb hexagon. That's smart, right? Bubble bees. Plus a square just don't look that good. So we're going to cut these into six pieces yeah. and then we just have to create 30 degree angles on each corner and it'll work just under one and a half. One and three. Or 13 millimeter, which is a much easier way of doing that, isn't it? By eye, that one looks thinner than that one. <laughs> My eyes are deceiving me. Bruh, I've got glasses, bruh. There you go. That's, that's, what, that's what we're looking for right there. On the table saw in. <laughs> that was a lot of table saw in. Yeah. And we produced this. This is so small. That looks so insignificant, doesn't it? It does. So in theory, these will all connect together and create a hexagon. Honeycomb. Exactly what we were looking for. Oh, and just to mention, we uh, cut three extra little bits. This is gonna hold the top plate in. You'll see in a bit. You'll figure it out. It's fine. Stand in. Ah. You've done it now. Yeah. <laughs> They're now nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. Got the glue. If we lay this tape flat and we put all of these like this, you'll see, then we can just roll. You push, I'll hold. Okay. Let's go for it. The tension under my hand right now is insane. <sighs> squeeze out in all but that one. It'll be fine. Do you know why there's no squeeze out in that one? Why? Because we put no glue on it. So if we just... Uh, uh, it's, it's fine. It's good that we notice now. Okay, and pretend that didn't happen. Need to wipe this off a bit. <laughs> I can't get the tension there. So we want to put a bottom plate on it, so it's something to sit on. And we want to put a top plate on it, but slightly inserted into it. That's what these are for. Yeah. Boop. Okay. Bottom. Bottom. Inside Ta-da! God, look at the difference in dynamics there. That's a big difference in dynamics. That's big difference. I've got a table saw again. Yeah. And do it by eye. Right. Where's all the sandpaper coming from? Secrets. Smooth. 
smooth. I'm not a fan of sanding. No, that's, that's, that was a lot of sanding. That was a lot of work. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what the connection of Mario and tape is, but there you go. Unsure. That's the first oh. bit. Yeah, that looks pretty bang on. They line up, the tops and bottoms are completely smooth. Look at that. We made that. Oh, and check this out for a fit, by the way. If that ain't a perfect woodworking fit, I don't know what it is. We want to screw the base onto the bottom. Yeah, so it can be removable if need be. Three. Three. There you go. Nice, very nice. I'm scared it's going to move when I tape it. I'm pressing pretty hard. I should, should have used four, maybe five fingers. Where's the screws? You can do the last bit, because... Uh, I can do the bit that might crack the wood. And... Cool. Okay, I'm going to pretend I didn't just turn that over and look at it. You ready? Wow! Yeah. That looks nice, doesn't it? It does look nice. Can I wear it as a hat? It's different. Different. It's different. Nice. We've drawn our marks where we're going to put a charging port at the back. And we're going to use a little bolt for the on and off button. It's touch sensitive. I know. Ooh. Ooh. We should have so done this before we glued this together. Yeah. It sounds like a frog. It did, didn't it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Beep. All right, let's unclamp this bad boy. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. So now we can glue these buggers in. Ah. Oh, I hate the smell of super glue. Here? Yep. How long does it take to set this stuff? I don't know. Probably to be safe, just hold it for 10 minutes apiece. I ain't holding it for 10 minutes. <laughs> we've got our front and back holes, we've got the bits inside. Pretty nice woodwork. I know, look at us. What Check us out. Shit. Check our unprofessional asses out. <laughs> This piece is obviously going to go in the top. We need light to come out of this piece. So we need to drill a hole in the middle. Is that how you normally do it? What, turn the thing? Yeah. No. No. Right, so we've got to cut that. <laughs> now we've got to do that really nice <laughs> shit. That's going to take ages. Well, how else am I meant that? About loads of little drill holes. Get the bulk out. You've got a fair point. Thank you. Wow. That, that, no, that was worthwhile. 100%. It was, it was worthwhile cutting that middle bit. I could sand that, make a ring. <laughs> I was going to take pure piss, this is. That's all the woodwork, finalised and done. Thank God. Thank God for what that. What a lot of cutting, sanding, all the aboves. Yeah. But pretty good circle. Quite happy with that. Pretty good, uh, this shape, can't remember what it's called, that one. That one, hexagon. Hexagon, that's hexagon. it. Hexagon. But as you can see, the tarp is down, and that only means one thing. Chemicals. Chemicals in a can, da 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 da. The part that's gonna be inset, we wanna give it some depth, so we're gonna spray it black. Yeah. I'll tape, you spray. Okay. This is about midnight again. We never get an early start yeah. and we, we think woodwork's gonna be way quicker than it is. We've got it a late start. Is. So just go for it. I'm scared it's gonna like go where we don't want it. Do you know what? We can always It's really hard to get in those little cracks. See what I mean about the cracks? Yep. It's the same issue you have with the nails with the string up. Spray paint is done. Get this overnight. We'll come back tomorrow, which will be in like 10 seconds due to editing. Bye. Bye. Oh, look, we're like cyberpunks.
Come here, cyberpunks. The next morning. Ooh, so that's dry. That's dry now. It's dry. I'm scared. We'll just pull that. Ooh, Ooh. that's a nice finish. Ooh. I like. Oh, nice, nice. There we go. That looks good. That looks really nice. Remove the tarp. So we're finally onto the light part of the lamp. Your favorite part? My favorite part, the LEDs. So we've got this nice little push on and off touch sensitive light. What's the best part about it? So it's rechargeable. Bloody rechargeable. So this thing can be plugged in, used off the mains power, and it can be portable. We could say it's anywhere. I know, anywhere. I've noticed this is just a plastic button. It's not even connected to anything, which tells me if you touch the circuitry, it switches on and off. So all we need to do is wrap some wire around that spring, and then we can connect the other side to a bolt, which will act as our on and off touch button. We've also got this extension lead, USB extension. So this can plug into the port and then we can wrap this to wherever we need. This is gonna be stuck directly onto the top here. So there'll be no gap to obviously bring this wire through. So I'm just gonna get a file and go to town. Make a gap. That'll do. What color would you like? Green, I take it. Good. So what question is that? Should wrap this wire around this spring to make the connection. That now acts like an on off. Pop this through the hole first. Blip. Now wrap it around the bolt. Okay, pushed in. All right. Just glue this in place. We have our button. Hold it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I can only see dots right now. I know, this is like ridiculously bright. <laughs> now we just gotta glue this light into the hole. Push that in. That is a nice tight fit we got there. That's that. Good job, the lid was on. There you go, our lamp is in. Simple as that. Shall we give it a test? Yes. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. As if we made that. We've made that, yeah. That's a nice bit of work. Surprisingly, we managed that. <laughs> Well, that's the base part of the lamp complete. Done. Now we need to get the booze. The booze. So, we have our JD bottle. Obviously there's no alcohol in it anymore. Oh, so it's delicious. What can I say? We need to make a JD honey colored liquid. Mm -hmm. We did a little test the other day. Mm -hmm. That worked bang on. We got the ratios. Ratio up. Ratio up. Ratio up. Ratio up. Oh. Oh. Five drops of that. God, you guys are getting a nice shot here. This looks ace. Five drops of this one. Four yellow. Four yellow. And that's it. I got to stir it. Aww. All of a sudden, we've got a liter of JD honey. If only it tastes like that. Yeah. <laughs> Bottle. Screw them on before a hazard happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to pour like the opposite way I go. Can we swap sides? Wow, brave move. I just launch it all in. Yeah. <laughs> in it goes. <sighs> Why can I smell JD? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because I'm recently finished. There we go. We have a full bottle, full of, bottle JD. of JD. Honey, do you want to do the honors? Can I? Can I? Da -da -da -da. Oh. Bottle lamp complete. Nice. I love that. I am proud of that. I think that's great. I can't believe we made that to be I honest. actually can't. Like we have mixed woodwork and electronics and made the whole thing just work. And recyclables. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. I'm really glad we went for the black inset. Give it some depth. I bloody love that. I bloody love that. Do you bloody love it? Do you? If you do, let us know in the comments. Tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like. Tell us about your day. Do you like JD Honey? 
Mm. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload. And we upload loads. We do. So click it. Do it. Thanks for watching. Before the next project. <laughs> no need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you ever get the urge to just like smack your hand down on sharp objects? I always want to touch uh, molten glass and metal. Yeah, come on, son!